What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing a full grand challenge trying to get to 12 wins all the way from zero using the best hog deck in the game right now, 3.1 hog EQ giant skeleton cycle. So I think I won a grand challenge about a month ago using 2.6 hog cycles. So this time I figured I would do it with this hog deck, which I think is better than 2.6 right now. And you guys can use it too in grand challenges, even if you don't have the archer queen or any champion for that matter. doesn't matter if you don't have them unlocked, you can still play grand challenges with them, which is a really, really nice feature that I'm glad they have implemented in the game. Earthquake is just going to allow you to break through buildings and cannon, in my opinion, is one of the best buildings in the game right now. And it just pairs really nicely in this deck because it keeps your cycle faster. I mean, it's cheaper than something like a Tesla, and because the Archer Queen is just such a good air counter, you don't really need to have that. You can still get by with just the cannon because a balloon takes two shots to take it out now. So before we head into the first game, if you guys would like to support me, use my creator code BOSS in any Supercell game. Really do appreciate the support from you guys. It does mean a lot. But yeah, with that being said, let's try to get the 12 wins here and head into the first match. All right. So we found a first game here against Omar. We can just go ahead and play Fire Spirit at the bridge. He's going to go Lumberjack. The bridge first play of the game, I was pretty certain he was going to go for a uh, balloon behind it because, you know, some people are known for going lumber loon first play of the game. Okay, well, he pretty much did that. He just cycled the Valkyrie first. All right, so so this is what I was talking about. I think I actually mentioned it um, at the very beginning, how the balloon takes two shots to kill a balloon now, which means it's very easy to defend it. Um, even the cannon alone can, but if they have stuff supporting it, then with the help of the queen, it's quite easy to stop. So I don't need an Earthquake, and actually I wouldn't have been able to because he played it high up. It would have been outside of Earthquake range. And I was thinking about maybe going for a Prediction Earthquake or something, like maybe he would drop a Skarmie, but I don't think it's really a good idea to do that before you know what your opponent is running. And in this case, he's using just some completely, yeah, random deck. I mean, it's a very off-meta balloon deck, far from your typical... Um, yeah, Lumber Loon deck. So he's going to go Musk. Um, okay, I couldn't get the Queen ability off in time, so he actually... Let's actually go for a Hog like this to distract the Musk and also apply pressure. Okay, he does have a Skarmie. It's weird. I was thinking he might have Skarmie, and sure enough, he does. I notice a lot of the random decks, more often than not, for some reason, have Skarmie. I, I don't know why that is, but it's just something I've kind of picked up on. Um, anyway, so, yeah, we got a great start. This should be pretty much wrapped up here as long as we don't make any major mistakes on defense, obviously. I think we can just cycle our log. We'll just go for, uh, Fire Spirit at the bridge and see how he responds. Looks like he might have given up. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. If that is, then we'll just go ahead and three crown him. And, yeah, pretty much what you would expect the first game of the Grand Challenge. Probably even easier, because... He gave up, which often wouldn't be the case. So yeah, we'll three crown him real quick and and in the next one, Shine Skeleton's actually pushing the queen. It's right on top of the king tower now. What in the world? King and the queen are both together now. It's cool. Um, all right. Anyway, we won the first game. Three crown. Um, let's head into the uh, second match. All right. So. Hog is in our starting hand here. We also got Fire Spirit. I think we just start with Hog. Very good starting play. Pretty safe and, you know, forces an immediate response out of them. He's going to go for his own Hog, but strangely enough, oddly enough, he doesn't go in for any sort of defense on our Hog except Skeletons. So we get a couple shots. He probably didn't have his Cannon in Cycle. That's my best guess. Otherwise, he would have played it. So, great start to this match, obviously. We're going to go Queen. Could very well be a mirror match. If he has Queen, plays it right now, or Giant Skeleton, I'm going to assume that it probably, there you go, is in fact going to be a mirror match. So, key in this match is to, your you know, Earthquake the Cannons, essentially, every time. Um, okay, maybe not the best Hog Rider from the opponent, because that's just going to get killed pretty easily. It does distract the Queen, but I think he would have been... Better off playing the Giant Skeleton in the left lane instead of playing it in the right lane because then he had to use something else that was kind of awkward. He had to go in for, yeah, Defensive Hog on the Giant Skeleton, which is not obviously what he wanted. All right, so we just go Hog here. We could even go for a Prediction Earthquake knowing that he, 
yeah, likely is going to drop cannon at some place inside of the radius. There is a place you can play the cannon outside of Earthquake range. I'll try to showcase it just to show you guys because we have a massive lead. It's probably the best time to do it anyway where you go cannon like this and then you use your skeletons to push the, um, the hog to the cannon. So when it's in this position, you can also do it with Fire Spirit. You can pretty much do it with any ground card but it looks like this guy gave up so are we gonna have two opponents that just give up in a row that's kind of crazy um wasn't expecting this type of start but um you know i guess if you have a massive lead and they know they can't come back it is doing themselves a favor saving themselves time so i mean why not i ain't complaining that's for sure so let's go ahead and pop the ability and take this second game to another three crown nice and easy See you guys when we find game three. All right, so against Thomas. No H, so is it just Thomas? I, I don't know, actually. Okay, hog question mark. Send on the hog. He's got Skeleton King. All right. So... Could be a few different things, obviously. Could be RG, could be Graveyard, could be... Um, okay, probably Graveyard, because you got the poison. That would be my, my guess. I doubt he uses the ability. Yeah, he doesn't. So, Fire Spear coming in. Um, Tombstone, yeah, gonna be Graveyard. Not in a very, very easy matchup, since he likely has Tornado and, um, oh, he's got Lava, very interesting. So, okay, I was thinking, yeah, I was gonna say it's not that easy, because he's got, um, tornado in a building but now i realize he it's lava so he doesn't have a tornado this might be a little bit of a tricky defense here the flying machine is actually quite a nuisance for this deck um oof this is gonna be uh like i'm not even gonna lie this is gonna be a really hard matchup but let's see what we can do here Lava Clone isn't even that good in the meta, but I guess occasionally you will match it. Um, and yeah, it is very, very hard since you don't... Lava Loot, on the other hand, not as bad, but Lava Clone can be very, very hard. So, we gotta be really careful. I'm gonna Earthquake this. Question is, what ground cards does he have? Because if he doesn't have another good ground card... We could try to three crown him right now, like just go giant skeleton hog essentially. And we're gonna have to three crown. That's the only way we're gonna win this. So that's the only option anyway. Um We need to get that giant skeleton to the king tower. Nice, we did. Okay, we just beat a pretty difficult matchup. Um, obviously, I didn't play it probably perfectly. A couple of the defenses could have been a little better, but a very hard matchup nonetheless um, because it's practically impossible for you to defend, so it's one where you have to be pretty hyper-aggressive, ignore some of the lava pushes sometimes. Luckily, we were able to get it done. We managed to get another three crown. Wow, we got three three crowns somehow, some way with hog. I mean, that is quite unusual um but I'll, I'll take it so all right he's gonna go mega minion we can just giant skeleton i think it's fine it is six elixir but he just cycled three so probably not that risky okay so hunter into the giant skeleton so that's pretty good i mean it's obviously for me a good thing i think um i'm gonna go ahead and log this we might even be able to yeah, nice. We resetted the hunter shot, so we're gonna send in a hog here. It's getting tanked for by the giant skeleton, so pretty good timing, I would say. And this is looking like it's probably gonna be Sparky since he's got the Dark Prince, Snowball, Bar Barrel, and uh, Hunter. Uh, I'm kind of praying that doesn't 
Okay, cool, really close. I was wondering if I should have logged that or not, but luckily, yeah, we didn't need to. Let's see what he does. If he goes Sparky in the back, I think we should go Giant Skeleton Hog at the bridge in the other lane. So I'm going to wait for him, actually. Maybe I'll have... Uh, let's cycle a log now, and then see if he does anything. Yeah, we can go Giant Skeleton. We can go Hog, because he... Yeah, I was going to say, now he has to defend, and he won't be able to support the sparky as well which means that we can defend it quite easily obviously he probably will try to go oh nice he tried to predict but luckily i didn't drop my um okay that was really clutch too i didn't even have to use the queen ability that was perfect that's pretty much the yeah the that was the most ideal situation i could have asked for there so i got um, yeah i'm very happy with how that went um we're just going to cycle a cannon to ensure that we prevent all the damage from this goblin giant, and then let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he's going to... Let's just go for an earthquake here. Okay, he's going to go sparky. So we could actually send a hog in the other lane. Even though we've dealt so much damage in the right lane, it's a pretty um, good play most of the time to just pressure the opposite lane because the most important thing is to prevent them from building a massive sparky push that's basically what you don't want to happen okay i knew he would try to predict the skeletons so as you can see i didn't even play them because i figured that it would um make him waste elixir so switching up your defense is also a pretty good thing to do like try to keep your opponent guessing so they just don't know Never let them know your next move, basically. That's a uh, trend right now, or kind of like a meme, that never let them know your next move thing. But that actually is very much applicable in um, this game. So um, Let's go for a log here, just to... We could probably activate the Queen ability again, which is going to be very, very valuable. We're going to send in a Hog Rider. Um, and this might be GG. I don't know what happened there. It seemed like he just panicked, so Hog makes it, and that's gonna be GG. Honestly, not a very, very easy matchup. Not really hard, but certainly not easy, because we don't have a, uh, reset to the Sparky. Our Earthquake gets very minimal value in that matchup. Literally, the only thing it does is take a shield off a Dark Prince. That's about it. Um, but luckily, we got some good things going for us. I'm on my mini account right now, so I have a lot of masteries I haven't gotten yet i decided to do the scrunch challenge on my mini just because i haven't in a while just to yeah level up some cards all right so we're four and oh right now a third of the way done see you guys when we find the next one all right so we're against anonymous i guess spelled differently than how it's normally spelled but i would assume it's pronounced the same so we'll go fire spirit at the bridge and um we'll just cycle a log here okay and if He's still not going to do anything. I guess we can Earthquake. I don't know what he's doing, actually. So, okay. So, he's finally going to go for a Prince. I think we'll cycle Giant Skeleton. I don't want to cycle my Queen just yet because we don't know much information about his deck. And it could be good to save it in this type of matchup. I just don't know. Well, now, obviously, we're going to use it. Um, let's see if we want to do anything here. Um, I think we could hog. I mean, the queen is there too, so this is a very nice counter push, I would say. I'm, I have log ready in case. Okay, so Sparky too. Very interesting Sparky deck. He's got, um... Yeah, this is very interesting. Knight, Spear Gobs, Prince. Very strange. Whatever the kind of the Sparky deck is. We got a lot of damage there, so now we just have to defend. If we defend this push, we probably win the game. So we can just set up a cannon here. Okay, Valkyrie, wow, what in the world is this deck? He's got Knight and Valkyrie in the same. He actually shoved the Sparky to the right, though. I don't know if you guys saw that. So that could have been a pretty good play if I wasn't paying attention. It could have gotten the Sparky to the tower, or it would have shot the tower instead of the cannon. Um, so I don't even need to do anything there because the bar of the Skeleton King wasn't even filled up all the way. And yeah, I would say this is pretty much GG unless I make a massive mistake this is over i would say we already got his tower so low and this is just the strangest deck i've seen i mean 
yeah, I, I, I think I can for a fact say I've never seen this exact Sparky deck before. This is just wild. So, go ahead and pop the ability here. He has to waste a Valkyrie just to take it out. And even with the Valkyrie, it still might not even be enough. Yeah, the Queen gets a shot. Um, let's go Giant Skeleton. He's probably going to uh, Sparky in the... Yeah, he's, he is going to Sparky in the back, just as I was expecting. So, sending in a Hog Push here in the other lane. And uh, let's just go ahead and Earthquake here. Um, and win, I guess. So, cannon set up here. Go queen. Log this. Pop the ability. Oh my goodness, he just played Spear Goblins into the log. That was painful to witness. Um, and yeah, we'll try to get the two crown. Why not? GG. If it wasn't obvious already, way easier than the Sparky deck I played the game before, because this guy didn't even have any spell from what I noticed, so Cannon Queen got, you know, infinite value, and like Spear Goblins, like what? Like, oh, I don't know what that deck was. Anyway, 5-0, and oh, almost halfway through. Alright, we're against Haven. Let's go ahead and go Skeletons. Fire Spirit. Ooh, kind of unfortunate. All good, though. We'll log this. Bar barrel. Usually some... Oh, no. Okay, so... Kind of unfortunate I don't have my log and cycle, but I think we EQ this to take the shields off one uh, the recruits for at least one side. And then we can set up a cannon here. Um, And then probably go queen. All right. The flying machine is going to be quite annoying in this kind of matchup. We're going to actually activate the ability. Dang, we're going to take a lot of damage. Not a great start to this match. And that's why I was worried. When I cycled my log, I was kind of concerned about the counter push. We took a lot of damage. I'm going to go Giant Skeleton here. We're going to try to get a push going. Okay, he had a Fireball. That's really good. So he did have to... I guess you could say overspend on that defense. I maybe should have hogged there, but I was really hoping the giant skeleton was going to live. But I think I'm going to hog anyway, because he doesn't have his cage now. We should be able to get a hit, at least. Maybe even a couple. Yeah, we're going to get quite a lot of damage. And this is actually perfect. I'm, I'm glad he didn't do the 3-3 split, because I probably could just ignore the recruits on the right side. Or... Oh, actually, we could just cannon here. This might be the better option, and I probably need to do it anyway. Yeah. Alright, so he just went hogs into the cannon. I can't really say if that was a good play or not it probably wasn't to be honest because he didn't get much damage out of it and i think as soon as i can giant skeleton i will i'm hoping i can get it in front of the queen nice this might even be really hard for him to stop let's see because that giant skeleton may get to the tower yeah it will wow yeah nice i knew it was gonna be tough for him to stop because he didn't have his recruits in cycle and that's a very important defensive card, so he has to be really careful when he's using it, and when he used it the last time, it didn't really get much value on the defensive end, he just used it on offense, so it was a little bit aggressive, I guess you could say. So we're just going to log these, and then Earthquake, the ones on the right. I think it's worth taking the shields off both of them, no matter what lane you're going for. Um, especially if it's double elixir and you can afford it, I think it's, yeah, worth it. Um, Alright, we gotta hopefully take out this flying machine, please... Nice. I was hoping we'd take it out before the Zappy retargeted the Queen onto something else, and we do, so that's really good. And that should be GG. We kind of had a rocky start, but we came back really, really quickly as soon as we got a good cycle for us. And because our deck is so much cheaper than his, it was quite easy for us to outcycle him. So we managed to basically get a Chine Skeleton to the tower when he didn't have anything good in hand, and he was low on Elixir. Um, so the hog wasn't even the win condition of this game. It was pretty much the giant skeleton and the queen, which you may not expect, but they're both very, very strong, so you can manage to get a lot of damage from them in certain matchups. So yeah, we're already halfway through the Grand Challenge, 6-0. and Um, let's, uh, yeah, try to, try to win it now, second half at this point. Um, gonna be a little harder, but I think we can do it. All right, so look at this guy's, um, achievements. This guy's a solid player. I think it said, what, um, 48th for global tournament, or was it 120-something? Maybe they were both global tournament achievements. I don't know, but either way, it's gonna be a pretty good player, so we gotta focus up here. He's got skeletons, um, maybe this guy's using log bait. Log bait should be a pretty good matchup for hog. 
because you got a fast cycle, and unfortunately, though, I don't think it's log bait. He's got the magic archer clearly, so this might be... I actually don't know what this is. It's bridge spam, okay. We're going to take some damage. Okay, that was an unfortunate start, to say the least. I thought he was running log bait because he had mighty minor skeletons, but... Um, what? Don't ask what the stack is. I don't know. Bar putt. Typically, when I see bar putt, I think... I usually think it's elixir golem. But what kind of an elixir golem deck has... Magic Archer and Mighty Miner. I am beyond confused right now. Um, so yeah, Log to reset the Mighty Miner, basically, to keep the Giant Skeleton alive longer. Because it's not Log Bait, I guess we could freely use our Log. Going in for a Hog here. Um, and hopefully we can get some good damage from the Queen. I might even go Fire Spirit just to apply some more pressure. Uh... Eh, that didn't do much. Okay, well, at least we took the lead. I still don't know what his win condition is. I guess maybe he's just using a bridge spam deck, so maybe just Battle Ram. Um, I realized he used Battle Ram earlier, so I, I should have known it was an Elixir Golem. I think I was just really confused. I forgot because I saw the Barb Hut that I just... That's why I kind of... I didn't realize. I don't know, but... Okay, so he's got Mirror. So we should try to get back to another EQ as quick as we can, obviously. Um, hopefully this fire spirit... Oh no, that's not... That is not good. It's gonna be loads of damage that he's getting, obviously. This giant skeleton's gonna get some good value here, though. And, uh, yeah, we do keep our lead. We just gotta be very cautious about the magic archers. I think they're the main threat, obviously. Okay, he's got enough for a barb hut. I didn't actually think he'd be able to afford it, but... Arrows did enough? Wait, my tower was at 111, wasn't it? Literally, if it had one more health, we probably would have won. <sighs> Wait, what is this, though? I'm so confused. He's won 50 grand challenges, so he's a good player. But, is did he just, like, randomly generate a deck or something? I will, like, of course, I shouldn't have lost that, but, wow, I am... I'm pretty shocked, like, either way. I mean, obviously he played well, but the Magic Archer was really annoying. I will say, um, that is an annoying card, because I know a couple people who use this deck. If you guys know Ian77, um, sometimes I talk to him in group chats, um, or just occasionally, like, message him, and he does say Magic Archer is one of the most annoying cards for this deck. He hates playing against, like, Remy Ellie, that Bomb Tower Magic Archer Tornado deck with Wall Breakers, because there's pretty much no way you can prevent Magic Archer from locking on your tower, like if it's lined up with a Giant Skeleton. Even if you push it back with a Log, it could still stay lined up. So, it is certainly very annoying, but, um, still, I could have played that game better. Like, I, I definitely didn't play that the best I could have, because it's, it, it was still a good matchup, I think, for this deck, but... I think I was just thrown off by what he was using, which is the main reason why I lost. But anyway, let's go for a hog here. Um, okay, so this guy's probably using Splash Yard. Um, we're going to Giant Skeleton here. Um, I was kind of hesitant to drop that because of the... 
Okay, good. Luckily, the Valk isn't splashing the tower. That's the most important thing. Wow, he took no damage? Wow. I'm I'm shocked I took no damage from that. I'm gonna Hog Rider, because he doesn't have his Tombstone back. He should be able to defend this. He did... Wow, he took a hit, though. That definitely could have been prevented if he... Um, timed it better, did a better placement, so I'll take that. Definitely a good start to this game. It's not a matchup that I think is pretty easy. We have to rely mostly on defensive defensive uh, earthquakes on his graveyard because we don't have uh, like a good card to counter it. We just have our spells, essentially. If he drops his... Okay, he's got to poison that. Um... I don't think we're going to get the... Yeah, we don't get the Giant Skeleton's Heart, but we do get one hit from the Queen. That's good. We've already almost taken half of his tower at this point, which is great. Um, nice. He had to overcommit on that. I think we could actually Earthquake. I know it's aggressive, but because he had to spend plus one on that. Um, okay, so he's going in here. Uh, we should be able to defend this without too much trouble. This is not that large of a... I actually think because of the queen, it might not even be that horrible of a matchup. Queen kind of like just gets an, ins an insane amount of value. Whereas if you're using 2.6, this would be a, a, like a much different story. We might even get a shot from the hog. Uh, no, we don't, actually. That was unfortunate. He's barely dealt any damage to our tower. Jeez. That's, like, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. So yeah, we just continue to go to, for high queens so he can't... Poison them and the tower. Log to clean up on the back end there, on that graveyard. This is where things get a little scary, triple elixir and double, because it gets a lot more difficult for you to break through, and their graveyards can start to get some chip damage if you aren't careful. And we're getting BM'd. <sighs> Alright, we'll just Fire Spirit. And by the way, that's why I usually leave emotes muted. I, I usually, when I'm not recording, I have them off because they do annoy me. But I, I turn them on for videos because I know people prefer... For them to be on but it's just annoying when it's like a really close game and the person feels the need to bm when i'm pretty sure it's a good matchup for him too um it's just in single we managed to get a lot of damage because it's good for hog and single but it gets really good for graveyard as the match progresses because he's got a building and a tornado
I'm gonna cannon this. I don't think he's got a battle ram, and even if he does, I can just go giant skeleton on it. So now we already have two losses. Both of them I feel like definitely could have been avoided, which is kind of unfortunate. Especially the very first one, and if I didn't lose to that guy, I might have not even had the second loss I got, because I might have had a different opponent. There's just no way to know, so pretty unlucky um, at the end of the day. I don't know how he's going to be able to defend this giant skeleton, because he doesn't have a lot of elixir, he just spent it all. So, yeah, that's exactly what I thought, so he's pretty much going to lose his whole tower on the right lane. Luckily we're going to win this game, but I'm still kind of annoyed that we lo that we already have two losses. So it's going to be really difficult to win the grand challenge now, since um, at the end, obviously, the... You know, the, the hardest games are the last couple. But then again, the two people I lost to, they both were, like, pretty good players. I'm pretty, I think I'm better than them, but they were still good players. Like, I mean, they had decent, like, uh, achievements. Like, they both had, like, ladder, um... I, I forget which ones they were, but I forgot what, like, ladder and global tournament they were. But they both have ladder, ladder and global tournament, um, like, achievements. So we can go cannon here. And I just realized since I'm on my mini account, I don't have great achievements shown on this profile, or if any at all. I do have the uh, the uh, the, the uh, global tournament emote, but I don't have. Um, I just realized that's probably why I'm getting less wows and stuff um, in this grand challenge because so I don't have that uh, intimidation factor, which is unfortunate. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna win this game pretty easily. I'm still mad though, like I don't really care that I won this. I'm still annoyed that I have two losses. I feel like both of them were, could have been avoided. Um, like I'm not saying they're undeserved losses, but they're just, they were like really dumb and unlucky losses that could have been prevented is what I'm saying. But I guess we could still get lucky and win five in a row. I mean, of course we could. It's just a matter of like what, matchups we get and also um you know if we play well so we'll go hog so you know skeletons and log we still get a shot nice um he's got bomber okay he might be using oh this is probably drill drill inferno the uh the one with bandit so he he doesn't have um he doesn't have wall breakers, I think. Okay, we can go hog, because he just spent a lot of elixir, and I don't think he'll, he'll be able to... Uh, yeah, he can't afford an inferno. He has to go defensive drill. He's even calling good game. Um, I wouldn't say it's like good game, but obviously it's a good situation for us. We can go skeletons here. Whatever lane he drops a bandit in, I'm for sure going to go giant skeleton on it, I think, because even though he can inferno it... It's still a good trade, because it's 6, we counter the bandit, and then he has to play Inferno, which is 5. Huh, so he's got Golden Knight instead of the bandit. Very, very interesting, actually. I wonder if that's that it, that's a better card in the deck, or if he's just doing it based on preference. Probably a preference thing, because um, most people use bandit in the deck. Ooh, the fact that that giant skeleton lived is very clutch, because now whatever he drops on this hog... I think that's in bomb range. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's going to be GG. Alright, so we are going to be able to win this game, which is good. And yeah, I'm saying it right now, we won. I know for sure we won this. There's no way he's going to be able to come back unless I lose connection, because it's a pretty good matchup anyway, so... Yeah, this is definitely over. Okay, so we'll just go queen. Um... And, oh, you might have even given up. Yeah. I guess we should have just gone for the three crown, but it's all right. Go hog rider. GG. 
He definitely made like a couple mistakes, but even if he didn't, we likely would have won if I, assuming I played well, because this should beat that deck. Just because, um, even with Fireball, it's even easier because when they have Rocket, they actually have somewhat of a counter to the Queen, and you have to be cautious because you don't want a Queen behind your tower to defend the drill because then they can just rocket it. Um, but when they have Fireball, it's even easier because if they Fireball the Queen, it doesn't really matter because Fireball Log doesn't even kill it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give this guy the good luck. Uh, I guess this guy, um, might have a YouTube too, so I guess, um, I don't know, you could check him out if you want to. Um, so since he's got Mother Witch, my first guess was going to be RG, but I guess, yeah, it could also be E-Giant. I'm going to go High Queen here. He's going to Bar Barrel this, and I think we should go for a Hog Rider now. we got a nice push coming in. He might have to Lightning this. I'm actually curious what he's... Ooh, he goes E-Wiz. Okay, at this point, I don't even know then if it's E-Giant. In fact, it might be... I want to say this might be a bridge spam deck, because he's got Dark Prince and E-Wiz, so maybe it's just, like, Battle Ram or something, or maybe he's got E-Barbs, or... Um, Ram Rider, very interesting. Okay, so Ram Rider, maybe he's got a P.E.K.K.A. as well, or a Mega Knight. If I were to choose which, well, like, what I would want him to have, probably Mega Knight, because Mega Knight is really bad. If you guys didn't know, it's, like, it's actually pretty horrible after the nerf it got. Um... So let's just cycle a log here. It looks like we're up a tiny bit of elixir. Okay, kind of an interesting golden knight, and he's also going to waste the ability. So I think we could probably safely go for a hog rider with this giant skeleton, because even though he might go for a P.E.K.K.A. on it, it probably would be fine, because I could just go for a queen to defend. Um, and yeah, he is going to have a P.E.K.K.A., but like I said, I... I, I think we're going to be okay, because especially after the Mother Witch, he's not going to be able to afford a lightning. So, we could just go ahead and activate the ability here. We're going to go Fire Spirit just to pull that. Just go Log, and that was a nice and easy defense. Ooh, good Barber on his end. That was actually, that was well played. We can go Hog, though. He is going to go Ram Rider, but we should, because, uh, because of the Ram Rider nerf, it doesn't stun as much. We are going to be able to get a hit, which is great for us, of course. I'm gonna- I want tower chip, so I'm gonna log- Oh no, I missed the log. Dang, we are, uh... Certainly not playing perfectly right now. It's alright though, we got a good lead. Okay, he's gonna go pack on the back. Yeah, this should be easy. I- I- he doesn't even have a lightning, so this should be a very, very easy matchup. If you guys didn't know, Earthquake log takes out a Mother Witch, so that's gonna be a useful interaction in this game. Yeah, I feel kind of bad, because when he goes Fireball, Bar Barrel doesn't even kill it, so. There's just, like, nothing he can do to take out the Archer Queen. The amount of value she gets in this match is just kind of unreal, to be honest. We go Giant Skeleton, because if he goes P.E.K.K.A. on it, then he doesn't have it for the Hog. And if we just get, basically, one shot, it's pretty much game over. Um... We just have to cycle. Of course, we're defend. We're gonna defend though first. We're gonna be careful because we don't want to just. Um... All right, we're fine. I got a little little nervous there because of the mother witch, and I just played skeletons into it, but we're okay. Just got to get back to an EQ, and that's gonna be a GG. I don't think EQ does enough, but log will finish it off. All right. Oh, no, it did barely do enough. All right, GG. Nice win. What are we at now? Nine, I think. I really wish I didn't have two losses, but we are forced to go into it with two losses. So let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're against Faith. Um, let's go just Fire Spirit to start the scheme off. She pressure at the bridge. She's going to go for a Furnace. We can Hog, actually, because... It's not going to kite it in the other lane, and that's a free Earthquake for us. Don't mind if I take that. Um, and so far, I'm liking the look of this matchup, because typically, Earthquake does amazing against spawner decks. He's also got Goblin Gang. So this, to me, looks like it's going to be, yeah, a bait deck. Maybe he's using 
Goblin Barrel as well, and maybe Minion Horde, because it looks like this Bowler one, the Bowler Mirror one, I've seen it before, but he's got Goblin Gang, and I'm pretty sure Goblin Gang wasn't in that deck. Okay, so we can actually go Queen, we don't need to log this, because you notice how it was a Juke, and I identified that, so... Alright, we're gonna Hog, that was very aggressive by him. Um... Okay, he goes Minion Horde, but we're able to get a shot from the Hog, and look at the Giant Skeleton on the left side, because he wasn't able to afford anything because he just went for rocket and minion horde so that was a very smart play there we identified he was very low on elixir and we just decided to pressure so it was certainly not worth it for him to go for that rocket and i bet he's regretting that right now so we're gonna go giant skeleton we got earthquake ready if he decides to go for a furnace which he does i mean even though furnace is gonna get no value for him this match he kind of has to play it eventually i feel like he's you know He's not gonna, he can't just like never play it in this matchup, you know, even though it's, um, it's quite useless, like he, he just, he has to, sort of, is what I'm saying, um, because otherwise his cycle gets so kind of like wonky, you know, it just gets really weird. So we're gonna go Hog here, I'm gonna Fire Spear because he might go, um, I was gonna say Minion Horde, but he actually went for a Goblin Gang. So that was a good Goblin Gang, that was a smart play. He might- yeah, there's the Minion Horde. And again, we're gonna Earthquake the Furnace. Um, yeah, Furnace is just... really, really weak. We're gonna go Giant Skeleton. I'm gonna log this, we gotta watch out for the Mirror now. In fact, I'm gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna... Oh wow, he's got arrows. Okay, that was a that was a good play on his end. I did not think he. We got to be kind of careful now. I, j I didn't even I did not expect that. I'm telling you that right now. Skeleton's Fire Spear to take out the barrel because I don't have, um, I want to save my log for his mirrored barrel. I think that's an important play now that I know, like, he's got mirror. This was also good. Um... Maybe not the best hog rider, but uh, either way, we're gonna, I think, just be able to Earthquake cycle him out here. Even though I know I don't have my Earthquake in cycle, I'm still gonna hog because, wait, actually, no, I got it. So yeah, we're gonna Earthquake here. And this should be GG, unless something crazy happens. I did that just in case you wanted to mirror the barrel. Um, but yeah, Earthquake takes it, and yeah, that is going to be GG. Pretty easy matchup. He actually made some good plays. After the very beginning, um, he started playing really well. He made us have to work for that win, so even though it was a good matchup for me, um, he, yeah, certainly, like I said, made me, made me work for it. Okay, so two more to go. Hopefully we can get it. It would be really unfortunate if, if we get two losses at six wins and then we go like 11 and three or something. That would be so unlucky, but because um, then it's like we win five in a row and we almost get it. And it's like that would suck, but so we're going to go skeletons here. We're going to go queen. Um, I was hoping it was going to target the mini Paka, not the giant. Uh, if this guy has Sparky, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, I was, I was going to say Sparky. Uh... Ooh, that makes it to the tower, though. Nice. Okay, maybe he's... I was saying if he had Sparky Tornado, but luckily I think he's got... It's just Sparky Bait. Okay, okay. It's a good sign, then. Um... We're going to set up a cannon here. We don't have Archer Queen. So that might make this ma this defense a little bit interesting. Ooh, he mirrored. All right. 
So hopefully this giant skeleton bomb can hit the Sparky. It can't. I feel like he's going to prediction zap if I play them right on top of the Sparky. I'm going to need to activate because it's a level 13, so... If it was a normal leveled Sparky, I wouldn't have had to use the ability. I think it would have gotten taken out, but... In that instance, I had to do it. I'm going to go Hog Rider here. Two shots, I'll take it. Queen... Ooh, interesting. He's going to, instead of playing giant in front of that one, he's gonna... Oh, he still does. Wow. Let's go skellies. Oh, nice. I was worried I didn't get that giant skeleton down in time. This should be GG. Because the... Oh, no! That's so unlucky. The Sparky managed to splash both. Gosh, this game has been stressful. Jeez, man. I think we just spell cycle him out here. Surely we can get back to another earthquake log. Okay, GG. Man, that was stressful. Holy moly. Okay, we got it. Nice. Whew. All right. I don't think it's that bad, but you have to be really like locked in focused because if you make like one mistake on defense like you know just one slip up where like the sparky splashes on your tower it certainly can cost you the game all right final game no matter what hopefully we can clutch it up see you guys when we find it all right so we're in our final match here against ultimate hunter we're gonna go fire spear at the bridge and uh using a skeleton so we're gonna go hog see what he wants to do we go log and cannon. Okay, so this could be a mirror match. It could also be log bait potentially, so we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna cycle log though. If it is log bait, we're gonna have to be careful here. We're probably gonna have to use our. Okay, so he's got hog. So this is actually just uh, straight up gonna be a uh, mirror match then, obviously. I'm gonna go hog in the other lane. So we got kind of like a dual lane push going on. get skeletons here i don't know if i need to log the no we don't all right we're fine we're fine so really good start to this game um we managed to defend the hog as well as that giant skeleton and we got a solid lead i'd say so i'm gonna fire spirit force him to overcommit with a log so that's good he does get the chip on the tower but i would say overall it's still good for us I'm gonna cycle Queen, see how he responds. He might go for his own, or he might... Okay, the Fire Spirit should just get killed by the Queen, I think. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and Giant Skeleton in the back here. He's probably going to... Giant Skeleton. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, he does.
Um. Oh, we just messed up the log. That's huge. Of course it happened. But, you know, I'm not ashamed. This guy is actually, um, I will say right now, he's a pretty good um, expo player. I actually know him. Um, he stopped by uh, my streams before. I didn't, like, mention anything at the start of the game because I was trying to focus. Um, but, yeah, he's pretty good. Um, probably with, like, a lot of different cycle decks because he's he he's main he his main deck is expo but yeah that was unfortunate we kind of had like a bad start and then we almost came back we actually in triple we we i would say in triple elixir i played better than him but in single he played better he managed to um get like in a pretty good cycle and put the pressure on and there was the one queen that ended up getting a lot of value that i had to like over commit on and helped in a hog push but yeah that was unlucky but more so than that game it was the two games before where i got six and two and both of those losses i should have won technically speaking so yeah really unlucky but um still a good run um and that again the final person i lost to he's actually like pretty solid so i don't mind losing him i know who he is um i actually don't know if i've ever matched him in a grand challenge before from what i remember but i've matched him on ladder before a few times um i recognize his name he was a uh, like an expo main and i think he quit and he came back to the game so kind of a little bit about him uh not that like it matters too much but if you guys were curious but yeah that's going to be for the video um it still kind of sucks like that we didn't complete it but um i'm still pretty like happy overall with how i played just like kind of a couple like small things um I think of all the games that Barb Hut won, I definitely could have played better, because that guy's deck was just awful, I mean, let's be honest, um, 
But yeah, make sure to like the video if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. Hopefully the next 12 win we play, we are able to win. I do win probably majority of the grand challenges I play, but um, you know, I, do, I still, even though I can win maybe like 60% of them, I still, I would say 90% of the grand challenges I play, I at least make it to 10 wins. But if I lose out, it's usually a 10 or 11, which is the most upsetting thing because it's like you're so close. But yeah, um, thanks again until next time, guys.